Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, I'm very excited to bring you carnivore oxtail soup. I've made this for the first time this week and it turned out absolutely delicious. I'm very excited now that it's fall, I've got my crock pot out more and I wanted to get into making some of these really delicious, slow cooked, collagen rich foods that are so nourishing for the gut, the joints, the skin, the hair, the nails, all the whole nine yards. And so I have never made oxtail before. And I found it at Sam's Club recently for $7.98 a pound, which I thought was a good deal in comparison to what I normally see oxtail at the local grocery stores. Now, oxtails didn't always used to be so expensive. They have been a traditional food in many cultures, including Europe, Jamaica, West Africa, and soul food in the United States. But over the years, they've increased in popularity and the price has gone up to reflect now the wide range of uses and recipes there are for making oxtail. So I just simplified all of this down today to make a very easy carnivore version that you can do at home in the crock pot or the instant pot. So I don't own an instant pot. So if you do and you make this, let us know how long it takes and any tips you have for doing it in the instant pot instead. And in fact, I think Anita at Ketogenic Woman has a really good instant pot recipe for oxtails. So maybe I'll link that below as well if you have an instant pot, but we're gonna make it in the slow cooker today. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do. The first step that I did when preparing my oxtail seems to be optional. I saw some people that do it always and some people that don't do it in their recipes, but it's cleaning the oxtail. And what that means is essentially that you're soaking them in either some acidic liquid like vinegar or citrus fruit juice mixed with water in order to break up any of the dirt or impurities or blood that might be left in the little crevices of the oxtail and allow that to be loosened and able to be washed off before we cook them. So I went ahead and did that. I used some white vinegar and water just to soak all the oxtails after removing them from the package. And I let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I rinsed them thoroughly multiple times to remove any impurities and any residues from the vinegar. It seems that some people also trim their oxtails down, removing some of the fat or the more tough uh, cartilage material before they cook them. I didn't do that. I left everything as it was because I want all the fat and all the collagen to really create a nice stock, a really nice healing collagen rich broth that I can continue to drink. So I left them as they were, but I did brown them really nicely on all sides in some tallow before I put them in the slow cooker. So that's another recommended step that again, could be optional. Some people like to parboil these before they put them in the slow cooker, but I went ahead and just seared these off with some salt for seasoning in a nice bit of tallow in my pan on the stove, getting them pretty brown on all sides and then threw them in the slow cooker. And that essentially is all there is to making oxtail. Again, here I read some different variations as to how long you should cook these for and at what temperature, but I decided to put these on high in my slow cooker because most of the recipes that I researched said that you want this to have a simmer. You really want it to kind of be bubbly and simmering for several hours, either on the stove or in a slow cooker like the one that I'm using. So I put mine on high and added probably about 32 ounces of water just to bring the water level up to almost fully submerge all of the oxtails. By the way, this was a little over three pounds of oxtail total that I used in this recipe. And after about four hours on high in the slow cooker, these were done. They were extremely tender, really good and the broth you guys i would expect a broth like this to have taken 24 hours like many of them that i have done in the past this broth was is really rich it's full of fat and full of collagen and it's so good for us and so i was really happy with how this turned out my little one loves the broth 
She likes broths in general, but she drank quite a bit of this last night when it came out of the crock pot. So that was really good. And you can eat this plain as is, just kind of as a soup. But today the bowl that's sitting right in front of me that I'm about to eat when I'm done talking to you is topped with cooked chopped bacon bits and some egg yolks that I just cooked up in a pan and threw on top of the soup. So this will probably be the main meal of my day. There's so much nutrition in this and it's so healing and so wonderful. So I really hope you give this a try. Let me know if you've made oxtail before, what you like to add to it and how it goes for you. Thank you for watching today. I hope this video was helpful and make sure to subscribe for more carnivore lifestyle content and recipes just like this. I'll see you all soon for another video. Bye.